Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today and welcome back to Premier League Prediction. Yet again, another week's gone and VAR is in um, a lot of people's discussions and debates. Um, I want to clear a few things up for you. I personally understand a few more of the rules and why they've been brought in, but I'll get to them as I get down to the fixtures. But guys, anyway, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'll kick off with is Everton versus Aston Villa. Aston Villa losing 2-1 to Bournemouth at Villa Park. Everton 1-0 winners over Watford. Um, Aston Villa spending a lot of money in this transfer window and is yet to come up with the goods. Um... I personally feel bad for the players that came up for the championship. I do, if I remember correctly, when I did my prediction table, I said the only trouble that Villa are going to have is their bonding. Um, obviously, the new players haven't had time to bond with, obviously, the players they got to play with. Um, but I would have given some of the championship players a, a shout, you know, getting promoted back up to the Premier League. Um, Everton on the other hand I've just said beat 1-0 Watford um, Watford still ain't got no points after two games could be in a lot of trouble if they don't start picking up results soon but for this game I've gone for a 3-0 Everton win Aston Villa could be looking on a bit of a downer my next one is Norwich versus Chelsea Chelsea 1-0 over Leicester and Norwich beating Newcastle 3-1. Not a shocking result from Norwich. Um, obviously, most of you probably know about speculation round at Newcastle that fans ain't happy and the way the club's being run, who they got in charge. Yeah, but Norwich to either go to Carrow Road at their home ground and still get a result against Newcastle. You know, it's still a hard thing to do. you still got to play football at the end of the day. Um, Chelsea on the other hand, one all against uh, Leicester. How do you sum that up? Um, I can, I, if I was a Chelsea fan, I'd probably be a bit annoyed that the result finished that way. But don't think Frank Lampard done a too bad a job. In his first uh, game back at Stamford Bridge. But, you know, as far as this game goes, I'm going to stick up I'm going to stick up for the draw. And I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline. So, exactly the same as Chelsea finished up their game against Leicester. My next one is Brighton versus Southampton. Brighton won all over West Ham. Southampton... Uh, losing 2-1 over Liverpool at St Mary. Let's go to the Brighton game and talk about this one ever so slightly. There was a VAR um, incident. Uh, Brighton scored a goal of Trossard and the goal got disallowed because Dan Byrne was offside when the free kick was taken. Um, I know some of you guys still have your opinions about VAR but I think what some of you have got to realise it's not always down to the VAR. Like I said, I will talk about it a bit more. You know, with the City game, I will speak about the issue a bit more. Um, but one all against West Ham ain't a bad result, but I do think Bright deserved the three. Southampton, on the other hand, losing 2-1 to Liverpool at home, more likely to be expected. Um, but, you know, it's one of them things. Uh, but for this one, I'm going to call this one a draw, and I'm going to go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. Man United won all over Wolves. Crystal Palace losing to Sheffield United. 1-0. Um, now, I want to ask you Crystal Palace fans something. Um, and do feel free to comment if you're any if you spot any team, you know you want you want to talk about your club, talk about your position, ask me questions. Do feel free to put it all down in the comments below because um, I do read all your comments. Uh, but 
Right, as I said, um, I want to ask you Crystal Palace fans, I mean, what do you think your downer is this season? Uh, you know, there's this all saga about Will Fred's hard wanted to leave and he did get his move. You know, fans are saying they're playing players out of position. How's Ben Teke getting a start over are you? You know, what is your uh, sit, what is your comment on the situations around Palace? Um, but Man United won all against Wolves. Yet again, another VAR, but the goal was onside and the player was onside. The only bit I have got a question is the eye line rule uh, with the offside. But I don't think because the player was not in straight vision of the hair, that's why it was given. But as far as this one goes, I'm going to stick up for Man United win. And I'm going to go for a 3 2 Man United win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Leicester. Leicester won all over Chelsea. I've spoken about that a bit. And uh, Sheffield United beating Crystal Palace. Um, you know, we're Sheffield United fans. You've got to be happy with that. And um, I did watch the game live on Teddy. And I must admit, I do think Sheffield United just slightly edged it um, over the 90 minutes. But fair play to you, Sheffield United. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it to the blue side of Leicester. And I'm going to go for a 2 0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Watford versus West Ham. I spoke about West Ham, I spoke about Watford. Um, let's go to West Ham side a little bit more because. If you did watch uh, my other prediction videos, I really said that I do like to stress it from both point of view. Um, Leicester, do, uh, not Leicester, West Ham. Um, do you feel lucky to come away with a point um, away to Brighton? How would you sum up your season so far? I know it's only two games in, but this, this side of the season really does sum up the after Christmas period, if you know what I mean, it can really dictate where you're going to finish. Um, but yeah, if you're a West Ham fan, put it down on the below. How do you think your season's going to finish? Um, but I don't want to beat you on the bush with this one. Obviously, I've already said Watford got no points. So, one, one, West Ham with one point, Watford with none. Watford, I want to hit the ground running. So, I'm going to call this one a draw. And I'm going to call this one a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Wolverhampton versus Burnley. Burnley losing to Arsenal 2 1. Wolverhampton 1 all over Man United, I've already spoken about. Um, but with this one, I'm just going to give you the result. And I'm going to go for a 2 1 Wolverhampton win. My next one is Liverpool versus Arsenal. Big game of the weekend. Um, Probably the most outstanding game of the weekend as well. Um, Liverpool, I think I've already spoken about. Yeah, 2 1 winners over Southampton. Arsenal, 2 1 winners over Burnley. Uh, overall, I think Burnley deserves the result. Uh, sorry, Arsenal deserves the result ever so slightly. But for this one, I'm going to give it to the red side of Mercy side. And I'm going to go for a 3-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is AFC Bournemouth versus Manchester City. Manchester City 2 all over Spurs, and I'll get to that in a minute. Bournemouth beating Villa 2-1. Right, let's go to this Man City game a minute, and let me try and address what I understand a bit more of the handball rule. Um, I think why the Premier League brought it in, yes it is harsh, I'll admit, I, I'm not a big fan of this handball rule, um, like City, he didn't see the ball, but he still handballed it, um, I think why the FA and the Premier League have brought it in the way they have, is so, like, if, let's say that Man City go, yeah, he, uh, at mistaken, uh, made a mistake of like getting handball. They, if I, 
Well, I think what they're winning is because you go up to the referee going, I, di I didn't do it accidental. Uh, you know, I didn't do it deliberately. And that's going to be a bit of iffy, iffy in, like, all round. So I think that's why the rules brought in. Uh, another thing for you guys to remember, it's not always the VAR's fault. Um, I know VAR looks at it and it gets hugely criticised over the weekends in the Premier League. But do take into account that the rules are there. The referees do have to stand by the rules. And the VAR is just there to pick it up. It's literally... I like VAR. Um, I won't try and brag on for this too long. I like VAR. It's there to help the referees. But it's also there to clear up the obvious errors that the referees make. But I've seen it for four years. I've watched it in the MLS. Some of you guys say it's a joke league. Fair enough. But the Premier League have taken a lot of rules from the MLS to bring into the Premier League. But I actually do like VAR. V, uh, VAR went pop, went against my team this weekend. So, and I still like it. I remember actually, because I went to the game. Um, I actually went to the game. Goal got disallowed. And I was actually sat there in the stadium and went, I still like it. Uh, it's not always the VAR's fault. Don't forget the rules are in place as well. Um, but let's get back to this Manchester City game. Manchester City, Bournemouth, I'll go for a 3-0 Manchester City win. My last one for this weekend is Tottenham versus Newcastle. Tottenham, 2-2 over Man City, I'll just, you know, spoke about that. Um, Newcastle, losing 3-1 over Norwich. Yet Newcastle fans, if you, feel, if you want to put it down in your comments, put it down in the comments below. What do you think your season is going to be? Do you think you're going to get relegated? Another question I want to ask you. I know it's going to sound a bit weird. But if you're a Newcastle fan. You probably understand. Slightly where I'm coming from. Please don't be offended. Um, do you do you want to go down? You know, Do you want Mike Ashley to sell it that bad? That if he goes down. He might sell it. Um, but anyway. Put your comments down below. And while you're down. While, you, while I'm here. All my social media links are down below to my Facebook, to my Twitter, to my Instagram. Just click on the links and they will all load up. If not, let me know and I'll sort out the problem. But for this game, Tottenham game, I'm going for a 2-0 Tottenham win. But guys, I've got a brand new video to an end. Guys, you know what to do. If you're a big fat fan, I hope you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.